cameras, check. Lenses, check. Drone, check. Tripod, check. Batteries, check. Lights, extra battery chargers, wireless lav. All right, I think we're good. Negative one degrees. Nah, not a fan. It's uh, ridiculously cold outside, as you can see, but the problem is I'm going to somewhere much warmer and I don't want to carry a jacket around, so it's like four degrees, but this sweater is all I got. <laughs> Good morning. It's a beautiful morning out there. Sweet. What's your name, by the way? Frank. Frank Scott. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, check it out. Check it out on YouTube. I'll put I you in the pitch in the vlog. All right. <laughs> All right. I see ya. <laughs> so this is legit the first time I'm ever ever flying without check baggage. It's like the weirdest thing ever. I'm trying it out. I think I'm gonna like feel like I'm constantly forgetting something. How are you? Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. You looking for somebody? Hey, what's going on, buddy? I literally on the other side of this pole. Oh, you're still here. <laughs> Jimmy, what are your uh, pre-game thoughts here at the room? Ready to rock and roll, man. Sweet setup, don't you think? Pretty sweet. I could fly the drone in this place. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, just super excited tomorrow, right, to present in this facility. It's a gorgeous facility. Going to be talking about leadership and culture and just how do we cultivate these cultures of excellence and the role that leadership plays in that. And so, just so excited. So, uh, welcome to Orlando, Florida. That's where I'm at, and man, it could not have come at a better time because it is negative four degrees or something at my house currently. And uh, when I planned this trip, I didn't know it was gonna be that, but it's 72 degrees here, and man, it feels good to be here. One thing I will say, I flew with American Airlines. I don't normally fly with American Airlines, but today was one of the most annoying travel experiences I've ever had. They were a lot of things. I don't like bashing people in my vlog, so I'm not gonna because I don't believe in bashing companies, but not a great experience at all. Really was pretty bummed about it. And for the first time ever, they told me that I literally could not have my camera on board. They said no professional TV cameras. I've literally never been told that in my entire life. And when I asked her why, she kind of wanted to get me thrown off the plane. I don't really understand. But regardless, the experience wasn't great. So let's uh, just put the past behind us and, and move on. I'm not really sure where I'm even going. start of this vlog I told you how this was the first trip I was ever going on where I did not have checked bags. I was really excited about that. I packed everything, my clothes and everything in that backpack and then all my gear in the Pelican case. But of course Americans screwed that up. They didn't let me actually check it, carry it on, or even gate check it. They made me check it so I had to wait for bags anyway. Completely screwed up my whole thing. I would have packed so much more if I knew I had to check a bag. Instead I packed this with all my clothes and my iPad and everything. It was annoying. But anyway, Welcome to Orlando. I am here actually just for about 36 hours. I'm here with Jimmy Casas, who I will introduce you to a little bit later in this vlog. Jimmy is another great speaker that travels around the country, does about 140, uh, I think about 140 keynotes a year, 
a lot of stuff that he has going on, but I'm really excited. We're going to be creating hopefully a lot of content for him. And we were connected with him from another speaker who does a lot of stuff, who have you seen in this vlog before as well, named Tom. Great guy. We love being referred. It means that we're creating an experience that people like and they want to tell people about it. So we're just thrilled to be here. I say we because as a company scaling creative, we're excited to cr produce content for these people but it's just me, I'm here by myself. So I'm trying something different with this entire trip and I decided for the first time ever, I left the house without a laptop and all I brought was my iPad with me. For the most part, it doesn't really worry me because obviously I don't really do editing really when I'm gone except for the vlog, but I figured I wanted to try doing another vlog as I done one another time editing entirely on my iPad with like LumaFusion. I figured the best way to make myself actually use this is to not even bring my computer with me. So this whole vlog is created on an iPad. Not that that might matter to you, but I figured I'd at least let you know. Also, this is entirely uh, like torture. Check this out. That's just not even fair. A golf course where I'm actually staying, that's like complete torture. I wonder if I could sneak a quick nine holes in. All right, headed back out. Just needed to make a quick stop at the room, drop my stuff off. Would have been a lot easier if I was at the same hotel, but unfortunately I'm down the road because there was nothing left at that hotel. So, uh, gotta do what you gotta do. Uber. That was crazy for me to think back, like before there were Ubers and like, even before there was taxis, like when there wasn't like a smartphone that you could just access it and like get a phone number and all that. Did you have to like go to a store and like get a newspaper to get like the number to a taxi service? Like I feel like that must have sucked. Like that didn't exist ever since I've been born, but the idea of having to like, if you needed to get a ride somewhere, you either needed to ask someone or you needed to, like how, how did you get a taxi back then? Like you couldn't even find the number. You didn't have a smartphone that would tell you. It seems miserable. How you doing? Hey my friend, Scott. Yeah, we just got done at the little reception thingy. Those guys are funny. So Tom, who you saw on the FaceTime, I've done events with before. Tom hooked us up with Jimmy. Jimmy's another guy that speaks. But what's really cool about this kind of whole network of these guys that we are starting to create content for is that they all are really good friends and really good supports of each other. I always think it's cool when people are in the same space and they do the same thing but they also can encourage each other and continue to like um, recommend each other. So they all speak at these conferences all over the country and they recommend each other to speak at ones that they do. And it's just really cool. What's cool about these guys is that they're incredible speakers, they're incredible motivators of people and of each other and just of the whole uh, industry in general, but they're also doing something that's really good for like the world. So they're, they're really big into education and, and helping teachers teach better and helping superintendents and principals and all these people, helping them to just be more passionate, be more excited about their job and to just teach students and get students to a place that they need to be. And that's something that like, I never really was big into education. I hated high school. I, I barely, barely passed high school and that was just how I went through high school. But now that I have little kids and you know, I've made decisions on where we live based on education and based on those things, I realize just how important it is that as my daughter and son will eventually go into school, just how important it actually is for them to get a good education. By no means am I the type of person that thinks that you have to actually go to school to have like success in general. Like I don't need my kids to go to college if they don't want to. I don't need any of that. I didn't go to college and, and life is pretty good and I know a lot of people that felt that way as well. But I definitely think that I will encourage my kids to, to focus more in high school as much as I didn't. I think that there are values obviously that you learn in high school and really just the responsibility of just understanding that you have a job to do when you're there and to do it well. So. All those little things, it, it excites me that, that these guys and, and girls that we are working with that are doing the speaking all over the place are doing just that. They're helping educators just teach our kids better and better and it's something that I can definitely stand behind. 
So being able to produce content for these different guys here and watching people respond to some of the content and, and, and sharing it and like this is what we need to hear as teachers and principals and all that, it's just a cool thing to do and it's, it's awesome that I get to be a part of it. And I'm glad that I get to just meet more and more of these people doing it. It's, it's amazing how many people are actually in this space in terms of speaking and all that. So hopefully we can continue to be the go-to platform for them to uh, you know, have us create content for, so we will see. But that's gonna wrap up the vlog. Now I have to do some editing on the iPad because I'm a lot slower on the iPad than I am on my actual main computer, so I gotta get a jump start on it. Thanks for watching though. I'll be in Florida again tomorrow and headed home for a short time and then headed back out. So stay tuned, let's keep pumping these out. Thanks for watching.